All right, so we're gonna brine our chicken first. Buttermilk, salt, and sugar. Since we're going up against Gillian, who's got some apparently dynamite fried chicken, we decided we wanted to do something different this time. So we came up with a batter to dip the fried chicken in. Flour, cornstarch, equal parts. And then we're going to add smoked paprika and some cayenne, some chili di arbol. I'm just afraid that, that, this, that you're going to add too many spices. Oh. Hey, Bobby, you need some help? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some water to thin it out. Don't want it to be too thin, don't want it to be too thick. Are you making a batter? Yeah, but we, you know, we tried something new for you. So You're bringing it. I'm looking forward to it. Gillian definitely has the swagger of a chicken master. I don't crowd the pan. I get that edge of brown going. I cook 1,100, 1,200 pieces of chicken a week. Let's pat it dry, and then I'm going to season it, and we'll start frying. Do you do a lot of fried chicken at home? I do, I do fried chicken at home and the restaurants. Oh, OK. Monday night at Bar American is fried chicken night. Oh. But it's not this recipe. <laughs> Will you consider changing it based on the results of tonight? <laughs> Everything's always a work in progress. I agree, I agree. After a dip in our batter, we're able to start frying some of our chicken, but the oil in most of our pots just isn't cooperating. We're almost at 340. That's so funny, I turned it off, and it still keeps still going, going up. I know. That oil's too hot, and that oil's too cold. It's really hard to deep fry like that. That's very, that's very challenging. It's hard for that to stay hot. Is this on? No, it's not. All right, let, let, let me do it. Let me do it, please. Can I, can I come on that side? <laughs> can you believe it? I can't believe it. Why did the fried chicken cross the road? <laughs> but we've isolated the problem, so we can finally get frying. We have five pieces done. How many people here? Okay, here's your A lot. We're gonna pull it together, we always do. Team play will prevail. Chef, what are you looking for in color and texture? To me, that seems like a good color. It's a little crispy on the outside. Now the question is, is it cooked through? Is it overcooked, is it undercooked? Hopefully it's just cooked. I'm really excited to taste this fried chicken. I'm always on the quest for really good fried chicken that I don't have to cook. We finally get into a groove. Looks good. But before we feed the masses, it's time to trade chickens and see if I stand a chance. Well, I can hear you crunching. And that's, that's a good sign. It's delicious. So well seasoned, perfectly cooked. This is very good, too. I think I may have found the other fried chicken that I'm not cooking. It's got a really light, kind of crunchy batter. It's very tender and has a lot of juiciness, and I think it can taste the buttermilk a whole lot. 